five, four, three, two, one, ignition, engine's full power and lift up of Starlink 5-11. Go Falcon, go Starlink. This rocket is carrying Chile's newest satellite, one made by an Israeli company. We won a tender two years ago, uh, providing a national space program for Chile, which includes 10 satellites. Eight of them will be built in Chile with a uh, lab facility, integration uh, and assembly and testing, and uh, a bunch of uh, geo-portal application to handle all the geo-based location uh, information that will be provided from those satellites. Also, we are going to provide a portion of SATCOM communication to enhance the communication capabilities in, in Chile. The constellation of satellites is designed by ImageSat International, a space intelligence company located in central Israel. The company beat out some of the world's biggest firms to seal the deal. It's a game-changing satellite because also the reduction in cost, the ability to be a constellation. I feel like sometimes this is also part of the Israeli story. Other companies that do these types of things, they have thousands of employees. And look at Chile, okay, we made out companies that have thousands of employees. The purpose combines both civilian sector uses with military needs, and the end results will be the ability to keep an eye above the sky nearly 24-7 that has sub-meter resolution. Submeter, you can probably cannot read a book from space, but you can identify and classify like uh, models of, of, of platform. Which car? You can see how many cars. You can see shades. Uh, you can maybe pinpoint vessels and to classify vessel. But it's not just a set of satellites. ISI is building an entire space program for Chile. Ground control, training, expertise, and schematics. The end result is launching Chile's space capabilities into the 21st century. This is just the first step in expanding Chile's ability to look further into space and deeper into space and to be able to receive information from this new satellite. Our next missions will be focused on communication systems and GPS navigation systems further on. We will be issuing tenders for those in the near future, and I'm convinced Israeli companies like ISI, the capabilities of which we know very well, will be taking part in building Chile's space program and straighten ties between the two countries. One of the tricks to keeping costs down and performance up is the use of AI in the process, and an app that automates many of the functions that would have required an entire ground control team in the past. Well, the application can automatically, autonomously plan uh, uh, a path in which they are taking targets. There is a, ta a, a target bank and the, and the application retrieve a lot of targets and put it automatically in the path. That goes to the satellite and when it's orbiting in, 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 in the path, it's taking images of all the targets. You can see the targets and, and the path itself. And the end result is this, the runner satellite, about the size of a washing machine and packed with some of the latest imaging and broadcast technologies. And all told, cementing Israel's place as a space power and a private company at that, dreaming huge in a tiny nation. Go Falcon, go Starlink. Falcon 9 is pitching downrange.